Ah, finished. Oh, hello there. I just put the finishing touches on my latest painting. Speaking of painting, it's Reckless Journal time. And today, the final installment, I'm going to share the pages that potentially mean the most to me. Because they are the ones that celebrate the hobby that I have loved the longest. Painting. <laughs> so, sit back, relax, and enjoy my last few pages. smush something colorful onto this page. Originally, I was going to use fruit. I thought that would be kind of cool because, you know, natural dyes are made out of fruits and vegetables. And I thought, blueberries are nice bright blue. They would look lovely. Sadly, the berries themselves are very blue, but the juice inside is like white. <laughs> and you could see absolutely nothing on the page. So instead, I used paint. And basically, I just squirted some little globs of paint on the page and then went and smashed my hand into it, which kind of spread things all over the place a little bit. And then I got my thumb nice and globbed with paint and just kind of flicked it like that. And that's how I got some of the bigger spots. It wasn't how I originally thought it would turn out, but Again, like most of my abstract experiments, I think it turned out quite wonderfully. And to complement this page, since I went ahead and used um, art supplies for the smushing, I drew art supplies on this page. So bottles and tubes of paint, pencils, brushes, and an artist palette. And I used the same paint over here for the little spots on the palette, as if the paint came from here and was splattered over here. I think that's a nice artistic touch. All in all, I am very satisfied with how this page has turned out. Color this entire page. Now this one might be a bit of a nightmare to show off because I did Mod Podge to protect it and it might be a little glary. I painted the background first. I started with black up at the top and then gradually blended it into like a navy blue and then a slightly lighter blue all the way down to the lowest point which is almost the original page color the blue is that desaturated and then once that was dry and it didn't take long because i used acrylic paint then on the bottom i did tree silhouettes and that was just simple little flicks of the paintbrush and then filled the rest in with black so it gets this really nice, like a twilight just before moonrise or in the very, very early hour just before the sun comes up kind of sky. And for a finishing touch with the uh, end of the paintbrush, the handle, some dots and some 
splatters where I flicked the paintbrush of silver glitter paint to give like a Starry Night Galaxy-esque look to it. Drip something here. Close the book to make a print. Simple enough. And I did just that. I used three colors, obviously. Purple, red, and this icy aqua blue. And just dripped straight from the paint bottle a few globs of each color. Closed the book and then opened it back up. And that's almost literally how long I waited. Now, if you're gonna do something like this, I have learned from previous experience that you don't wanna wait. So once you close up your book or fold up your piece of paper, that's as long as you need to wait and then open it right back up. Especially if you're using acrylic paint, that stuff dries fast. So if you wait too long, you could end up ripping your paper and that might end up ruining your artwork. I think this turned out really, really pretty. And I would love to know if you guys see anything in it. If you do, comment below and let me know. We can turn this into like a Rorschach test or something. I kind of see a face. There's some eyes, mouth, little cheeks, maybe a bow tie. Let me know what you see. Close your eyes, connect the dots from memory. Straightforward. And that's what I did. I loaded up my paintbrush with purple paint, closed my eyes. I think I did pretty good. connected the dots and then just to give it a little extra interest I drew on with I think that's pencil crayon some hair and arms to make it kind of look like the dots were people oh, this one is like sitting on an exercise ball and that one's like doing a flip or somersault or something I did it lovelies I finished and shared all of my breakfast journal clips turned into videos. You just finished watching the last one. That's bittersweet. I'm not ready for it to be over yet. <laughs> I have to admit, I, um, I got pretty comfortable having videos all ready to go. And heck, <laughs> As it got close to Christmas and life kind of got a little busy again um, I was even posting like a week in advance which oh, I'm not gonna be able to maintain that <laughs> but it felt good while it lasted and this feels good finishing a goal that I set for myself well over four years ago now because it's it is now 2021 and I thought that I would end this series where it began in my bed <laughs> wearing the height of fashion pajamas because okay when I started this whole thing I was filming the intros and the outros and the clips and everything just sort of willy-nilly. Which, if you've been following along with my series, I'm sure you've already seen. Some of the intros, outros, whatever, I had red hair, which would have been pre-2020. Some of them I had black hair, which it still kind of is, which was 2020. So when I started actually like committing to putting everything out there, I filmed the intro and I was this close to filming this outro at the same time. Part of me was like, it's not that far in the future. I could just, you know, wrap things up and how different could it be? But then a part of me thought, how different could it be? We were in voluntary exile back in October when this all, well, this video, not, not the dumpster fire that became life. But when this video started, when I was filming that intro, we were in voluntary exile. Um, 
physical distancing and all the rest, but we could still do stuff. It wasn't, it wasn't too, too bad. It was, it was manageable. And now, January 2021, we're back in lockdown. I... I don't think... Well, maybe. I don't know. The days are just melding together. I may or may not have left the house this month. I don't remember. I honestly can't remember if that was January or December. I know I went out once. That may have been in December. So I might not have left the house, other than, like, to go for a walk. And I usually keep it to the cemetery near the house, because that's, that's pretty quiet. Um, yeah, wow. <laughs> Isn't that weird? I could have filmed this intro back then and said basically what I'm saying now. But who could have guessed? Things are a little bit different. I made these pajamas. Top and bottom. At the top is uh, it's a little piece together. You can see some seams. I had to make both sleeves out of different strips. Because I didn't have a pattern. I was using pants to make pants as I have done in previous videos. Feel free to check that or those. I can't remember if I've made more than one. I don't know. What is time? What is anything? Hmm. As I spiral into existentialism. Anyway. Um, yeah, I didn't plan my layout properly when I was cutting the pants and didn't end up having enough to make the sleeves out of one big piece. But... I think it turned out pretty good. It fits really nicely. Okay, so as much as I liked being one of those YouTubers who posted on a regular basis, I cannot guarantee going forward that I'm going to be able to keep up with that posting schedule. Partly because this isn't my job, clearly. <laughs> I don't get nearly enough traffic on this channel to even be monetized. So this is strictly hobby. I do this just for fun. Ugh. We've been in quarantine for almost a year. I'd say I'm slowly going crazy, but with multiple... Uh, mental illness diagnoses. I'm pretty sure I'm already clinically crazy. <laughs> I don't know if I can get any crazier, clinically speaking. Oh. But it's, oh, it's been a weird one. Anybody else struggle with the feeling that it's still March? Like, that's, that's when things hit the fan for us. When the kids were on March break. That's when we first got the notice that March break was going to be extended by two weeks. And then we never went back. It's been weird. I've been struggling. So in the winter or in the summer, we were going to the beach and it was warm and swimming and I mean, you know, distancing. But it still felt like March sometimes. We get to the fall and trick or treating, we're getting costumes and pumpkins and every once in a while it felt weird because it still feels like March. We get to Christmas, we're getting a Christmas tree and getting presents and baking cookies, and every once in a while, this is weird, it still feels like March. It's the never-ending March. At least for me, here. Hmm. Anyway, what was I saying? I totally forgot. <laughs> oh, yes, okay, filming schedule. So, I'm, I can't guarantee that I'm going to be continuing to be consistent. As mentioned, this isn't my job. I don't get paid to do this. I just do it for fun. So I'm not going to drive myself crazy or make myself sick to try and 
maintain a level of consistency that is just not reasonable for me. This is, this is just for fun, and as long as it's fun, I'm going to keep doing it. When it stops being fun, then I'm gone. Wow, that sounds gloom and doom. <laughs> All that to say, next week there will be no video. I'm taking the week off because over the Christmas break, I started working on something else. Another video, like the series, that I've wanted to do for a while and for whatever reason haven't. So I, I think I started filming clips for that one. I'm not using any of the old clips that I had filmed, but I, I started trying to film some stuff years ago. I think it, probably like two or three years ago now. So this, this is an idea that I've had for quite some time. Finally started putting things together. And that was going to be the next video that was going to come out. However... <laughs> This past weekend, I was spontaneously struck with some creative madness, which spiraled out of control, and that's going to be <laughs> my next video. Um, yeah, I have a little project that I was working on, well, that I'm still working on, and I think I'm going to post that one first, and then I'll post the one that I was working on over Christmas after that. But the reason I'm taking next week off is because it is so difficult filming when everybody's home. So difficult. I, I can't believe I've been in front of the camera right now for 12 minutes and no one's come busting in. I mean, you possibly heard the screeching from the basement, but I'm, I, this has been relatively uninterrupted. So, yeah, filming these videos is um, it's another reason why I'm not going to be following a strict, script, blah, 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 strict schedule because it's extremely difficult to get any filming time with everybody home. Um, but yeah, I think this next one, the next video that I have coming out is going to need some more time. The project is only about, well, maybe about two-thirds done. I think I got the bulk of it done. But it's really difficult. It's really difficult to film. You'll see why soon. And it's a nightmare to edit. Mm. Yeah. So, I've got some more ideas. And, yeah, I think I might do some more vlogs. Maybe another eat with me. Um, maybe we'll share a breakfast or something. Since we're locked down again, we might need to connect this way. And then, I don't know, if anybody is watching this and has any ideas for videos that they would like to see me tackle, uh, a fab or fail challenge, anything that you, you know, have maybe seen someone attempt and it looks like it might be too easy or you know some instructions that you've seen that you don't know if you know the execution would actually work feel free to uh, link you know any of those kind of ideas comment below let me know if you have any ideas what kind of things would you like to see me tackle um, do you want to do another you know casual chat mukbang or whatever they're pronounced uh, do you want to, do you want to see another week-long vlog? Uh, do you want to see more sewing videos? Maybe some painting? Something else that I haven't thought of? So, I just want to say one more time, thank you very much, lovelies, for those of you who have uh, followed along on my entire breakfast journal series. Uh, or those of you who have just popped in to see, you know, a couple videos, or heck, even one video. I appreciate any and all love that my videos, specifically, and this channel in general, get. Like I said, it's, it's not a job for me. So any kindness that I get 
from you any, you know, love, support, encouragement, it means probably more than it needs to. Actually, that could be a video idea. Going into why external validation is so important to me. Because there is, there is a cause to that effect. Thanks so much for watching, um, liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing, just everything. I really appreciate it. And, yeah, clearly I don't want this to end, but this has to. It's been a fantastic run. So have a great um, couple of weeks, and I will see you soon with something really special. I hope you like it. Makes me happy. Anyway. <laughs> <sighs> yes, I am that friend who won't shut up and takes like three hours to say goodbye. <gasps> okay. Until the next video. I hope you stay safe. I hope you stay as sane as possible. And as always, stay fabulous. Bye.